Today's baby farm animal book has 15 baby animals in it. Let's see if you can count them all as I read Baby Farm Animals. Baby Farm Animals, written and illustrated by Garth Williams. Baby sheep is called a lamb. He likes to run in the grass that grows in the meadow. Baby cats are called kittens. They love playing on the farm. At night, the farmer gives them cow's milk and they curl up together in the big red barn. Baby rabbit lives in a hutch, which is her tiny little house. She sniffs noses with the kittens and puppies because they are all friends. Baby guinea pigs also have a hutch. Have you ever seen a guinea pig's tail? That rabbit has been up to some mischief, says the brown guinea pig. Baby donkey loves to eat juicy carrots. He is sitting down because he is tired. Somebody is trying to make him stand up and follow those carrots tied to the end of a stick. I know that trick, he says. Baby ducks are called ducklings. They swim in the pond with their wide webbed feet. Why don't you come for a swim? They ask the little chicks. Baby chickens are called chicks. They cannot swim. Mother says we must look for worms and stay out of the water, they reply. Baby pigs are called piglets. They love clean straw to sleep on. A piglet digs with his nose, which is called a snout. If you pick him up or chase him, he will squeal for his mother. Help! 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 Baby dogs are called puppies. They stay in the stable close to the horses. They growl and bark at strangers. They pretend that the shoe is a big cat. They growl and bark at it too. Baby goats are called kids, just as little boys and girls are. They try to knock each other down by butting their heads together. Their father has horns and a pointed beard. Baby swans are called cygnets. Now they are covered with smoke colored down but soon they will have pure white feathers and long, long necks. Baby goose is called a gosling. She will be a big gray goose someday. See her brother with his head under the water? He is looking for something to eat. Baby horse we call a foal. She could walk the same day she was born. Now, after a week, she gallops. When she is two years old, she will be a beautiful horse, and she will be able to carry a rider on her back. Perhaps she will even win a race. Baby Pony is taking Kitten and Puppy for a ride. He is a Shetland Pony, so he will not grow very much bigger. Baby Cow is called a Calf. She says, Moo! It is time for lunch! You're used to seeing Farmer Sarah outside on field trips, but today she's going to be in the kitchen making some special pancakes. Let's go take a look and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it's Farmer Sarah and like my mom said, we're making special pancakes. I'm making my pancakes using a squeeze bottle. If you don't have any squeeze bottles at home, you could use something like an empty ketchup bottle or an empty maple syrup bottle and you can wash it out and fill it with your favorite pancake batter. That's right, any way that your family makes pancakes you can use to make these special pancakes. What I'm doing is I'm drawing out my shapes and I'm going to make a special cow pancake. You'll see my pancake batter is really dark and that's because I took cocoa and I mixed it into my pancake batter. Once I draw out my shape, I'm gonna come back in with just regular pancake batter without the cocoa mixed in. You don't have to cook these pancakes any special way other than how you'd normally make pancakes. All I'm doing is filling in all of those lines that I just drew to make my cow shape. And if you have a, another favorite baby farm animal, you could draw that too with your pancake batter at home. Now I've got everything all filled in. I just need to take a moment and let it cook. And then when it's ready, it's time to flip. You can then finish 
cooking your pancake and then move it to a plate. Oh, yummy! To enjoy with some delicious butter made from milk from cows, just like mine. And you can top it off with some fresh maple syrup. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!